Following an order from Governor Abbott's office, the University of Texas officially banned TikTok on university-issued devices and networks. This follows similar bans taken by the federal government as, and as well as other states. UT students can still access TikTok if they want. It just can't be on a university-issued smartphone or computer or on a university-owned network, including UT Wi-Fi. We talked to some students to see what they think about the policy. Um, well, I kind of feel bad for the students who live on campus because it's like a really big form of social media and it's going to be really like a lot harder for them to go on it now. Obviously you can use it off data, but using your data is a lot of money and as for a college student that's not kind of affordable. The policy comes amid concern over the close ties between the company and the Chinese government. It's raised questions about who has access to TikTok user data. Capital reporter Monica Madden joins us now. Most people use TikTok to watch funny videos or see dance moves. Right. Basically entertainment. Is this ban at UT having any effect beyond just being an inconvenience? Well, it's definitely inconvenient if you're one of those people who's using it on Wi-Fi. I actually went over to UT campus to try it out, logged in onto the guest Wi-Fi, and then it, once I opened the TikTok app, nothing would load. Didn't get a message or anything saying that it was blocked, but, you know, I think a lot of students there might have, or maybe not so much students, but for UT, they were using this social media device as a means of recruiting and making sure that they're reaching other people who might not be aware about UT and their programs. Uh, sports teams definitely use it and for community engagement and whatnot. So I think in that regard, it might you know limit some of their outreach to recruit for recruiting other students. But as far as uh, people using it on campus, they just will have to turn off the Wi-Fi. So if you don't have unlimited data, then might, that might be a problem, Josh. <laughs> well, it seems like every social media app gathers data from users. Is TikTok that much different? You know, I, I think in terms of the type of data that TikTok collects on your personal data is not much different than what we see from Facebook, you know, Meta with Instagram and other social media companies. Obviously, Google and Apple harbor a lot of personal data on users. I think the difference here and why we saw this order from Governor Abbott is because TikTok is a Chinese owned company and a lot of government leaders have concern that, you know, because it's not owned by an American company, perhaps government officials there could get access to personal data on Americans and use that against us since it's a foreign adversary. And I think specifically this order, you know, it targets state agencies and anyone who is using government devices. I think the main concern there is that any kind of private information that is, you know, important to the state, important to the United States and our uh, national affairs and all that stuff could end up in the wrong hands. So that's really the key difference between why they're really cracking on TikTok rather than some of these other social media companies. You know, as you mentioned, this action comes after a December directive from Governor Abbott, but Texas isn't the uh, only state that this is happening in. Uh, there are other places that this is cracking down when it comes to TikTok. Yeah, right? absolutely. More than half of the uh, states in the United States have either fully banned, partially banned, or are looking to ban TikTok within their state agencies on government devices. And of course, you know, we saw this happen uh, during the Trump administration. He had tried to ban TikTok completely from the United States, was unsuccessful in that. But I do think those conversations are ongoing, especially within Congress of, you know, how do we tackle this app and uh, through the lens of their concerns about national security. How is TikTok responding? Well, of course, TikTok is not happy about their app being limited in the United States. They sent in a statement to us. We're disappointed that so many states are jumping on the political bandwagon to enact policies that will do nothing to advance cybersecurity in their states. So they went on just to say kind of to my earlier point of they don't think that the University of Texas will be able to recruit and do other community videos and whatnot. So um, that's how the app is responding for now. Well, if you have seen anything on TikTok lately, you might have seen, uh, you can find politics reports from Monica <laughs> on TikTok right now. Ironically, I made a TikTok about TikTok <laughs> being banned on UT. <laughs> All right, thanks Monica. Thousands of Texans are waiting in jail, found incompetent to stand trial, but not able to get court ordered mental health treatment. I think what we're seeing are communities that are desperate, looking for workarounds to try to reduce the number of people who are just waiting in jail. Now, a new approach to the problem, how one county jail is working to treat people behind bars. 